Hi, I'm Miss Floyd. I teach AP Statistics. Um, statistics is a science of collecting, organizing, summarizing, and analyzing data. We're going to be drawing conclusions. Uh, what you should know about AP Statistics is that 95% of all colleges require you to take statistics. So it's worth your time and effort to get it out of the way before you go to college. Uh, it turns out that about 50% of students, when they take it in college, fail. So if you take it now, you'll pass, and then you'll have it out of the way. Uh, you should take AP Statistics. Uh, it's relevant in all of your pol political sciences, health, businesses, regular sciences, agriculture, psychology, education, and engineering. So all of those fields uh, will be using statistics. Hi, I'm Miss Sherwood. I teach AB and BC Calculus here at CO. Um, AP Calculus is the perfect culmination of all of your middle school and high school math that you've taken. It brings everything together and really gives you that satisfying feeling that you've reached almost the pinnacle of your math and what you can learn. Um, it also will give you an idea if that's something you want to go further into. Uh, being a mathematician opens up a lot of doors and really great careers that make good money. So it gives you that opportunity that if you can't pass the class, it closes off some opportunities that you might be interested in. Um, taking calculus, you should expect it's an AP class. It is a difficult class, um, but if you're willing to put in hard work and um, come to class every day, you will learn it. You can earn college credit and get a really great head start for um, any career in the math and science field. So my name is uh, Miss Smith, and I'm one of three AP 11 teachers, along with Miss Barrett and Miss Lovey. I think one of the good things about this, about AP 11 language and composition, is it really is about writing and debate and argumentation. So we spend a lot of time on current events and what's going on in the world, and talking about how people persuade and what they use to persuade. Uh, so it's not a lot of dates and things to memorize. It's a lot of debate with your class. You should expect a lot of paying attention to the world around you, so a lot of following up on social media and the news and paying attention to the kind of news that you can consume. Uh, you should expect a lot of debates with your classmates and discussions about issues, um, and a lot of texts from across uh, the country and across the history. Um, not so much fiction, but a lot of nonfiction, a lot of news articles and speeches and eulogies, those kinds of things. All right, that's it. That's it? Yep. Easy peasy.